Namaste, welcome back. This is video number two and we're ready to really extend those practices and push ourselves up. I'm Rina, thank you for joining me and let's make a start. So starting in Sukhasan or Vajrasan on your knees if you wish to, okay, uh, or Ardha Siddhasan with your leg in front. So as comfortable as you can, making sure we're sitting ready for our Kriya. Jinmaya Mudra, palms facing up, heads up, eyes closed. Lean into the base of your spine and open those abdomens up. Settle the mind. Settle the eyes. Close the mouth. Starting off with an even bigger breath than we did last time. We're going to go inhaling for 10 seconds and we're going to go exhaling for 15. So if you feel like you need to exhale in between, of course, go ahead. Let's just make sure we are listening to our bodies. Let's make sure we're going as slowly as we can and not holding our breaths in any of the practices. Nice and calmly, here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Keep going, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Well done. Really important to keep those exhales longer than our inhales. The body should be nice and rested, ready for our three omkars. Together, inhale. Keeping our eyes closed. For those of us that know the Kapal Bhati practice, which is the passive inhaling and forceful exhaling, we'll go for 30 pushes of that. And those of you that are unsure, we are not doing any inhaling, we're only exhaling from our noses. And if you want to, you can place one hand lightly on your stomach, but don't push it in with your hand, just feel it as you exhale, feel your stomach move in and out as you're going. So every time you exhale, your stomach should come in. I'm trying to imagine you're touching it to the base of your spine. Okay, we're clearing the airways, we're heating up our body without even standing up. And remember any high BP, any migraines or headaches or anything like that, please make sure you're doing this very slowly or not at all. Listen to your bodies as much as you can. Okay, so we're going to go for 30 pushes, 30 seconds. Keep your mouths closed, keep everything nice and relaxed and begin your practice. Pumping, keep pumping, give your last five, everything you've got. Four, three, keep pushing, two, one, and be still. Hopefully our lungs, heart, chest, everything's nice and settled. Maybe we're not inhaling as much, that's fine, don't worry settled everything nice and slowly and now ready to fill the lungs properly nice and calm here we go inhale slowly 
and exhale, double the length, keep exhaling, keep exhaling, and keep exhaling whenever you're ready. And open the eyes, interlock your hands, take a nice stretch all the way up, keep those chins up, really just pull yourself, okay? And try and bring those hands behind you without touching your elbow onto your head. Take a deep breath, working our upper as we're sitting today. Try and get that elbow down to the floor, looking up, breathing in to the middle and breathing out. Okay, try and get your elbow, if you can, try and get your elbow in line with your hip and open yourself up and get yourself up. Breathe in and out to the side and in and out, other side. Good. Head all the way up, stretch those hands, flick your fingers. Keep going, flick, 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 look up at your hands. Breathe in and breathe out. Come down halfway, relax into your hips, palms on your shoulders. Nice big circles, nice big circles. All the way back, three back, three forwards. We're going to be using our hands to support our body in our first postures. So we wanna make sure they're nice and strong. And forwards, we're walking forward with our elbows. Try and use your hips as well a bit and going back, 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 heads up, chins up, big smiles and stop there. Good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go for a little run, but we're not going to stand up and do this run. We're going to run from the end of our mats to the front with our legs out in front. So sitting up nice and straight in some density and trying to make sure that those legs are nice and straight. So try not to bend that knee. Okay, so those of you that have done this before, you know exactly what we're doing. We are going forward like a choo-choo train and we're going to get to the front of the mat and we're going to get ourselves back just slowly, building up the heart rate. Okay, backs up straight and start to run. Go, go, go. Keep going, keep going. Shuffle yourself forward. You've got to use your bum, use your hips. Okay, try and get your hips right to the front of the mat and whenever you're ready, you bring yourself back. Back, 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 back. Come on guys, keep going. Remember, no knees bending. Yeah, no knees bending. Get yourself right back where you started. Right back, keep going, shuffle, 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 and relax. Okay, now last session, we did our rolling at the end. We gave our back massages at the end. So let's start today with, again, building up the pulse a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into our Patangasan rolling. So soul to soul, feet together in Patangasan. We're gonna start with our rolls today. Interlock your hands, and remember, it only counts if your feet touch the floor. Remember, curved spines, is our friend when we're doing this practice. So keep those heads up, take a nice deep breath, start to curve your stomach, roll your shoulders back and roll. Get yourself all the way down and all the way back and all the way down. Good, keep going. A few more for me. Really curve your spine and keep a hold of your legs. And if your legs let go, you've got to do one more for me. Yeah, one more. Keep going. Last one. And we're going to come all the way down and relax. Good. So hopefully warming ourselves up a little bit more. Today, standing up without using our hands is going to be with our arms crossed in front of us. Okay, so you're welcome to lift them up if you need to. But we're going to stand up straight and we're going to go straight into our Surya Namaskar. So heads up, back straight, again using those ankles. Remember, if you need to use your hands, please do. Listen to your bodies, okay? So nice big smiles, inhale and up we get good straight into Surya Namaskar so we did two last week or last session and we're going to do four today we're going to go straight into dynamics straight into dynamics so everybody at the front okay remember the golden rules feet flat use your toes heels always together and hands touch the floor they don't move from there you can move but your hands don't move okay and travel with your yeah, so no curving of the spine unless it absolutely needs to be curved into a reverse. So shoulders back, nice deep breath in, exhale, come down, close your eyes and your mouths, be nice and still, prepare your mind, remind ourselves of the postures. So first one, we'll just remind ourselves of the poses and second, third and fourth, we will speed up. Okay, I want to remind you guys to make sure you're putting more effort into your exhales 
because no matter how many we do, we shouldn't be out of breath. That's the trick. So let's try and see what we can do. Here we go. Breathing in all the way up. Breathing out, coming all the way down. Badastasana. Put your head inhale. Left leg. Ashwasana Jalanasana. Heads up. Try and lunge forward. Exhale. And Chaturgandasana. Nice and flat. Looking a few meters in front. Knees on the floor. Ashtanga Namaskar. Chin, chest, knees and toes. Keep that stomach off. Stomach down. Slide your hips forward. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, Parvadasana. Lean back. Come on, give it everything you've got. Try and get your head as far away from those pits as you can. Inhale, return. Ashwasanjalanasana. Exhale, join. And continue your journey. Inhale, up. Slightly faster, exhale down. Inhale, right. Exhale, joy. Knees and chest. Inhale, slide up. Keep those heels together. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, right leg move. Exhale, joy. Inhale, all the way up. Breathe in. Exhale, come down. Last two, come on, inhale, left. Exhale, joy. Knees and chest. Stomach down, hips to hands. Inhale, up. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, left leg in. Exhale, join. Inhale, up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, right. Exhale, join. Knees and chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Inhale, right. Exhale, join. Inhale, all the way up. Come on, nice deep breath in. And exhale, namaskar. Bend nice and long in your exhales. Nice and long. Keep your namaskar there. Stabilize your breathing. Feel everything nice and heated in the body. Surya Namaskar is perfect for warming the whole body up. Toning, lots of positive energy, increasing our happy hormones organizing the heat and the cold in our body. Combination of posture and pranayam working perfectly together for all round health. So if we can't do anything else, let's try and do our Surya Namaskars. Take a nice inhale and as you exhale, you can relax your hands. Be nice and comfortable as you're standing. Shoulders roll back and ready for our poses now. So we're going to start with Bhu Naman Asana. Bhu the ground or the earth and Naman means to Namaskar. But we're going to be doing our Namaskar today with our head. Okay, now please make sure we're doing this carefully and if you only want to let go of with your take your hands off the floor then, then do so. Okay, otherwise you can keep your hands on the floor. So anyone with um, any migraines, high blood pressure, vertigo, things like that want to be really careful and try and keep your head above your heart. Yeah, try and keep it above your heart. If you really want to push yourself, try, but your body knows, you know your body better, so make sure we're listening, okay? So in this practice, we really want to open our legs up as wide as we can, okay? So best to do this in uh, bare feet, but a little bit nippy today, so we want to make sure that we are uh, nice and warm. I want to make sure that my feet don't freeze to death, so well, I've got the socks on today guys, so bear with me, but if you're doing this at home, definitely socks off, you want to avoid no slipping in the, the mat, okay, and actually the, you get extra grip like that as well with your, with your feet. So when you're doing Purnamanasana, we want to roll the shoulders back, you want to push your hips out, and without curving your spine, we want to try and place our hands flat on the floor. Now try not to lean onto your fingers, yes, yeah? so if you can get your hands flat, great. Okay, and if you want to have a go at bringing them in, that's also great. If you want to bring them in front, that makes it a little bit easier. Okay, now we're going to do the Naman now. So Naman means we want to really bring our head as close as we can to the earth. Okay, and for that you need to use your hands to help you. And then if you need to, you can take your hands off. Okay, so as you're doing so, you want to just slowly use your hands to help your head come down. Yeah? And the idea is to try and get onto the crown of your body and share the weight between the crown of your body and your perineum muscles. So keep your head down onto the floor if you can 
and if you want to have a go you can hold on to your ankles okay so i'm not sure hopefully you can still hear me we've got our crown resting on our forehead and we're holding on to our ankles okay so making sure we're nice and steady in the pose and if you want to have a go okay there's me slipping <laughs> Okay, if you want to have a go, you can hold on to your ankles as you're doing this. Okay, as you're doing this. And an extra challenge as we're going is to try and lift your head up. Okay, and lift yourself without using your hands. So raise those arms all the way up now and slowly breathe in and breathe out. So exhale completely. Just had a really good lesson in making sure we're not doing our practices with our socks on, especially ones where we're not slipping, okay? But I wanna make sure my toes don't freeze, otherwise I won't be able to do anything for you. So, well done on that, and well done if you managed to get your head onto the floor as well. You can experiment. This is not something that we're gonna be able to do straight away. This is something that we want to gradually build our bodies up to do, okay? So hopefully we stretched out all of the perineum muscles, okay? and. Going to just stand up nice and straight, deep breath in, roll those shoulders back. Nicely inhale and exhale. And then just open our eyes. So that moment of rest was just to prepare us for our last two practices today. Okay, Dhanurasana, which is going to be a bow pose. So we're going straight into uh, our uh, supine position. We're lying down on our front, okay? And we're going to make sure we're nice and relaxed. So everybody up onto their elbows, watching carefully. So Dhanurasana is bow pose, and the aim is to really, really try and balance and try and come onto your stomach region. So taking our chest off the floor, taking our diaphragm off the floor, and balancing on our stomach. So those of you that have done this before, Okay, you know what's coming. And remember, we want to only try and rock in this pose if you've managed to only get onto your stomach, yeah? Otherwise, we're only going to be moving our head and that's not what we're going, it's not what we want to do. So the wider you put your legs, the easier it will be for you in this practice. And if you want to challenge yourself more, you can close them together. But just being careful, any hernias or anything like that, or any severe stomach problems or surgery or anything like that, we want to make sure we're not doing this pose. Okay, so in Dhanurasana, we want to put all of our chest on the floor, arms nice and straight, legs apart, and without lifting our chin, try and bend those knees, okay, and bring your heels to your bottom, and hold on to your ankles. So bow pose means we want to really curve our spine. So we want to lift your heads all the way up, and as you lift your head, you're going to inhale, and you're going to come up onto your belly button. Yeah, so go as high as you can, lift your chin all the way up and hold the pose. So feel your arms being stretched by your legs as well. You may feel a little bit in your quads region as well. Keep that chin up, okay? And just go at your own pace, yeah? So if you're on your stomach, try and have a go at rocking forward and back, only if you're on your stomach. Otherwise, hold the posture nice and calm. Deep breath in and out. Keep breathing out, hold the posture. And nice and slowly, we're going to come all the way down and release those legs and relax. So place your forehead down on your hands, relax your spine. Okay, it's quite good lying on our fronts when you've got back pain, but it's nice to just relieve and return that spine to its original position. Okay, hopefully we're slightly recovered from that posture now. We're going to go for a nice big pose so stretching our whole of the spine okay so we curved in reverse when we did dhanurasana and what we're going to do is we're going to curve in the opposite direction in halasans we want to be really really careful when we're doing this pose we want to make sure we're looking after our bodies we're looking after our backs and we're only doing this if we are able to so anyone with severe back pain headaches migraines any sort of major surgery or anything like that we want to make sure we're not doing this okay you can go and sit yourself up against the wall and raise your legs if you need to but only do this if you're uh, able to so in halasana we're going to be sitting down okay making sure we're being really really careful okay and keeping our legs as straight as we can while we're doing these practices 
So in Halasana, this is a plow pose. Our aim is to, as we lie down, bring our legs all the way back. And today we're going to be experimenting as well. So from Halasana, plow pose, Sarvangasana, using our shoulders. So basically standing on our shoulders and supporting our back with our hands, particularly in the back rib area, and keeping our legs all the way up and seeing what we can do. So we'll experiment with our legs up and down. Those of you that have done this before, you'll know what to do. Okay, so lying down and being nice and comfortable. Feet together. And remember, as soon as we get ourselves all the way up, we want to make sure we're supporting our back. And if there's anything else that you want to tuck in, any t-shirts or anything like that to prevent them from falling down, okay, please do so. So again, being really careful, listening to our bodies, okay? Raising our legs all the way up and holding on to our ribs. Okay, right behind. Keep your legs nice and straight and get your feet flat. If you can, your toes flat onto the floor, touching. Okay, and if you're able to, then you're nice and comfortable. So I'm gonna add a layer of challenge each time we go. So only if your body's able to. You can straighten your hands onto the floor behind you. If you want to do this with your knees bent, by all means, please do. If you want to interlock your hands to extend the challenge on the upper back, you're welcome to do so. Okay, you can also try and open your legs up and go as wide as you can with your legs. And the main thing is to try and push your abdomen and keep it in line with your chin. Okay, only then can we really, really stretch out the back of that neck as well. Now from here, we're going to try and we're going to come up into Sarvangasan. So onto our shoulders, legs up at 12 o'clock, being nice and steady, nice and calm. And very slowly we can experiment. We can try one leg down on the floor behind us, keeping it as straight as we can and returning that leg and trying the other one. Okay, it's always good to try. We don't know what we can do until we try. Nice and slowly you can try bending the knees and bring them in, trying to touch your knees all the way to the forehead, staying right back up, 12 o'clock. Try and straighten up the body as well. So try and make sure there's no sort of real dent, yeah? Being as straight as you possibly can. So a nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, we're gonna slowly come down, okay? So for that, I want you to bend your knees, and we're going to do this without lifting our head. So be slow, be calm, return your body to the floor and release your arms, legs come up back to 90 and slowly we're going to exhale without bending those knees, we're going to come down and we're going to relax, legs apart, hands apart, palms facing up, mouths closed, take a nice inhale and exhale and let your body resume. So lots of challenging practices today. We've woken up the insides of our legs, the base of our spine, upper shoulders. Nice and calmly, we're going to, without opening our eyes, we're going to turn to our right hand side and we're going to slowly sit ourselves up. Keep them closed, keep them closed. And we're sitting up in Sukhasan. Returning with our back straight, Jinmaya Mudra, backs up all the way, leaning back slightly. Let everything come right back down, let the circulation come back to normal. Finishing with our mantra and the meaning. Making a nice namaskar in front of our chest, namaskar mudra. If you'd like to repeat, please go ahead. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha Sarve santu niramaya Sarve bhatrani pasyantu Kaschit Dukkha Bhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Let 
let's be happy, let's be healthy, let's all see the good in others, work together, be successful. Let us all be without any pain or illness. And may we all have peace, peace, and peace. Relax your hands, bring your head down to the earth. Inhale, come up. Release the hands and start to rub your palms. Remember to keep your heads up and your back straight when you're doing this. Get all that lovely heat inside those palms and popping those eyes so it's nice and dark. Breathe in all of the good from today. Exhale any tightness, aches, pains. Open the eyes inside your hands. Start to loosen the grip and with every blink lifting the eyelids slowly, palming your forehead and taking a nice big stretch all the way up and a nice big smile ready to start or finish your day. Extend a nice big namaskar at the top. As you inhale and as you exhale, let's remember to think positive with our brains, to speak positive with our words, and to feel positive with our hearts. Thank you for joining today. More videos will follow next week. Keep up the practice. Remember, lots and lots of Surya Namaskars if we can. And I hope everyone has a lovely, lovely time ahead. Thank you and well done.